Okay, so this is Dylan So from Everlook Photography. Just for a quick tutorial on using live view simulation for um, calculating duration of exposure during bulb mode when you're using dense ND filters. So I've got a uh, video here from the recent Kangaroo Island trip, which is very wind affected, which is why I'm voicing over it. So I'm uh, shooting. You can hear. You can tell by that. Um, so I'll turn the volume down. Um, Essentially, what I was doing was uh, I had taken a uh, short exposure as a test um, composition and then the wind was blowing such that the clouds were fanning in and I've got a 10 stop ND filter uh, put on there. So you can see that um, I've got it at ISO 100 which is my desired ISO. If you put it to 30 seconds it's grossly underexposed but you can see that on bulb it simulates a reasonable exposure. So if you bump the ISO up uh, until you get a satisfactory exposure for 30 seconds, you can then work backwards to find out how long you would need to expose your bulb exposure for. So in this particular example, I'll just pause it there. Um, the um, uh, At uh, ISO 800, the exposure for 30 seconds was ideal. So if I then had to work back down to ISO 100, that's three stops past 30 seconds. So 30 seconds plus three stops is one minute, two minutes, four minutes. So therefore I'd be leaving on my bulb exposure for four minutes and seeing how it goes. Um, now if um, you're in changing light, which this was, for instance, the you can see behind me here that uh, the sun was starting to come up. So I probably wouldn't need to go for that full four minutes and in the end I went for a three minute exposure which resulted in um, the image that I wanted. So um, this is just an example of how to use live view uh, exposure simulation to calculate your uh, desired bulb exposure. I hope that was a handy tip for you. And if you want to read more about it in words, uh, follow the link to the um, blog uh, post about it down below. Thank you.